it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 5th so keep in mind that the timing is fluid and you know these readings they can play out at any time this reading is timeless and it is not sign specific we're just gonna see what comes up What do we have for a reading today? Page of Swords reversed. King of Pentacles. Lovers reversed. And the High Priestess reversed. So. Now this, this page of uh, swords reversed a troublemaker of some sort. This is bad news. There's going to be some sort of separation. There's disharmony in a connection. There's a detachment with the lovers reversed. The high priestess reversed is lack of spirituality, ignoring intuition, something being revealed. There's a secret that is being revealed in regards to a love connection or truth has been revealed. This page of swords in reverse could be, it's like, I don't know, trouble, put it that way. This is absolutely some sort of trouble. There's difficulty in communication. There's unexpected conflict that is coming. This conflict could be coming from uh, an, air, uh, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody's been keeping secrets and the truth is about to come out. We've been talking about this. Somebody hasn't been communicating. Now the King of Pentacles is somebody that is very cunning, very clever, very practical. Looks like he has a golden opportunity right now in his hand. So he does have an opportunity. Uh, He's looking at some he's looking at what he has to offer and he's about to give it to somebody. Somebody's about to get something. Okay, they're about to and maybe it's a reality check. It could be a reality check. This lover's reverse is a separation. It is uh it's the end of a contract with an individual who may uh, not be happy because the, the high priestess in reverse is somebody who's not very open, not very spiritual, very closed off, doesn't have a lot of friends, probably doesn't really know their value either. This could be a mistress. There could be an unexpected conflict that is coming. It doesn't have to be... Uh, relationship per se with a nut with a, 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 a well it doesn't have to be like a love relationship there is a going to be a conflict here okay we got a conflict right here this somebody is about to get a reality check from this uh, this person right here this person is planning on saying something. It feels like they've been holding their tongue, but they're not going to hold their tongue very much longer. Hmm. There's going to be a disconnection of some sort. Oh, we have a broken relationship here. One just fell on the floor, and it is upright. If I can get it. It's the temperance card. Oh, God. Okay. 
okay, so it's time for an exchange. It's time for something. It's time for something better. It's time for a better life. It's about finding balance and managing feelings and moderation is needed. This is about acceptance. Accepting that it's time for a change. Somebody is going to need to accept. Now, this comes after the death card. This is about accepting and allowing that something has ended for a reason. This is the end of a contract with an individual that wasn't very open, that probably didn't communicate very well. Maybe this person was in a broken relationship. Everything happens for a reason. This is a card of reason. It's a card of purpose. Because a change is needed. This is needing to find the self-discipline to change. So, I mean, the high priestess is about to speak up as well. The high priestess in reverse is saying something. This person has been, you know, keeping their feelings to themselves, observing, not, not saying anything. But in reverse, it is opening up. Somebody has been ignoring the, themselves. And it's like they're finding some sort of self-love. It's like I don't need anybody to complete me. I'm ready for a change. There is some sort of self-love here as well. I think we have an individual that is agitated. They are very agitated. They want something real. Because they have something real to offer themselves. I feel like they've been engaged with a false contract with an individual that uh, maybe came to teach them some sort of lesson about self-love. The high priestess in reverse is an individual that is overly reliant on tarot readers and psychics and mediums and doesn't listen to their own gut. So perhaps we have somebody here that needs to listen to their own gut. They need to listen to their own intuition and accept and allow that they've, or whatever, that they've evolved. This is about evolved. They don't, they're not connected to this person anymore. There's going to be a disconnection. Somebody has changed. They've, you know, they've changed over time. Anyway. I mean, that temperance card is, is a life change. It really is. It's renewal after death. Ten of cups reversed. Now this is a dying dream. Somebody could be leaving the home. This is a lack of happiness. It's not very comfortable anymore. And, and I'm not sure what kind of relationship this is, but this is, you notice they're, they're waving. Somebody could be saying goodbye. There's no wish fulfillment here anymore. There's this, it's, it's too, there, this isn't, there's relationship problems here. Chariot. Somebody is definitely moving. They're going for a ride. They're going to be taking a ride. They're going to be taking a ride to greener pastures. It's like, I'm going, I'm out of here. Somebody is finding their discipline and their willpower and their strength to leave. They are definitely leaving something. They're going someplace. They're taking action. They want something real. Now this chariot, this is somebody that is, is, is taking charge. Right now, things are calm, but this person is ready. They are definitely getting ready. They're getting ready to get going. They're getting ready to go. Somebody is getting ready to go because they're not happy. They're in an unhappy partnership right now. And they're ready for something better. They're, they're ready. They don't, they don't want the, you know, silver. They want the gold. They definitely want the gold. Anyway, we do have a King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is somebody that is a very hard worker, very skilled at what they do, very abundant, 
has something to offer. This King of Pentacles. It doesn't have to be an earth sign. This is somebody that is very stable, solid, secure, real, loyal. Has something big. Has something big to offer. And knows it. So this guy is up is thinking about his next move. This is a planner. This guy makes plans. He doesn't just jump. He's planning. That's why he hasn't move, made his move yet. He's in the process of making a move and he's going to be moving. So somebody's moving. There could be an exchange of living as well. Somebody could be moving into a new home. I think we've been talking about that a lot. Anyway, they're moving away from I don't know. If there's a mistress here or somebody's been cheating, I just want to I just somebody could get dumped. Somebody could get dumped because, you know, I want something real. Nobody wants somebody that is just a mistress. Not forever. For a little while, but not forever. This is not forever. I don't want you forever. I want something real. We do have, I feel like we have a, we have a separation from... Uh, somebody that is very, very alluring, but not the real deal, which is interesting. Anyway, let's keep going. That set, that that chariot is making a move. Somebody's about to make a move. This person is very determined, very, very strong. Definitely knows how to control their emotions their emotions. We have a very hard worker here. Huh. Knight of Cups reverse. Now this Knight of Cups reverse is somebody that um, may be afraid. They could be fearful. They could be fearful of getting into a relationship. This is a flirt. This person flirts. This is a heartbreaker of some sort. Mm. This is this is getting the hell out of here. Somebody is leaving behind a false relationship. I'm telling you why. There's a breakup here. There is a breakup. It's because that's not love. That is not love. We have somebody here that this we may have a commitment phobic here. Somebody that is afraid of commitment. Or they were afraid of commitment. Or they're getting out of it. Somebody's getting out of a commitment. It's like, I don't want to be in a commitment with you. You're definitely not the one I want. That kind of it. That's just what I hear. I think there's going to be some words that are said and they are not pleasant. They are not pleasant words at all. Somebody is leaving a situation. It's almost like they're being stalked as well. It feels like I, ha I have a stalker here that is um, watching another person's every move. It's like they want to have their cake and eat it too. They, they want to have the, you know, fault relationship, but they don't want to make any changes in their lives. And I feel like they're about to be rejected. The other person is about to be rejected. Anyway... That Knight of Cups reversed is a withdrawal. I'm withdrawing my, my invitation. I'm withdrawing my, yeah, invitation. That's what it is. I don't want to be in a relationship with you. I don't, I don't want to play this. I don't want to do this. I think we have somebody here that is finding them, their, their strength, you know. To go someplace else. Oh, well, that one just came up flying out. Two of they were torn between two options. Somebody was torn. But now they're seeing the truth. Lies are being exposed. We definitely have a liar here. We have somebody has been who has been lying. They've been lying about their feelings. Things are, somebody's about to open up. 
They are about to open up. They are about to express. They are about to express their feelings. We have somebody here that has been wounded. This person is wounded. This is a wounded warrior. This individual hasn't been listening to their gut. They've been focusing on their money, focusing on their business, focusing on everything but a relationship, blocking their emotions. But for some reason, it's time. It's time to make a move. There's something happening here that causes this person to make a move. But there's been trouble communicating because of fear of commitment. This is like a commitment phobic. But this is time. There could be a reconciliation here with the temperance card. Because this is renewal after death. So after a you know connection dies, there's a chance for renewal. There's a chance for something better. Somebody may have learned a lesson they, that changed them. And it looks like there's one more chance. So somebody may be hoping for another chance. But this one right here is very wounded. Very, very wounded. Very guarded. Not so sure about this. There's a need to be gentle with this person because this person is feeling, you know, like they need to protect themselves from getting hurt again. We have, we have one individual here that has gained a lot of strength and gained a lot of confidence and has picked themselves up from, from the ground by themselves and has to fight. This person has had to fight. And they have fought a lot of battles. And, and now they're very guarded because it's been a constant battle that like their whole life. Now this person is determined to protect themselves from getting into a relationship or from getting hurt again. But for some reason it's time because temperance is a card of time. This is also a card of healing. So I think that we have some sort of opportunity to heal a connection that may have been rejected. Somebody may have blocked a connection because of fear of getting hurt again. But now they're going to open up. Because they want something real. So I feel like with that King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is planning something. This person is very, very wise. Uh, it's typically an older person. This is somebody, I would say the King of Pentacles is somebody over the age of 40. I'm just saying. Um, this person is making a move. This person is making a move. If you are the younger person watching this, you may be dealing with a father. You may be dealing with somebody that is, is older than you that is uh, separating from, your, from their wife or something like that and going for something better. There is somebody that is going for something better. They have learned some sort of lesson about getting inside of a, getting into a false contract because of that lover's reversed. We have broken relationship issues here, and there's a chance there's a there's a there's a chance for a renewal or a reconciliation here, or there's a chance for something better because the temperance can be exchanging something for something better. Anyhow, I feel as though there's been some sort of indecision. There's been a delay, but now somebody is seeing the truth. I think there's been some lies that have been exposed that has opened somebody's eyes okay somebody was hiding behind a mask and was the mask of fear but i feel and it what really was the mask of fear fear of getting into a relationship you know and it being the same as all the rest anyhow i do i do you can expect expect somebody to open up somebody is about to open up um they're about to step forward or step in step into the the light or something like that a chariot is somebody that takes a ride. You know, somebody may be inviting you to go for a ride or something like that. Um, 
There is going to be some forward movement as somebody decides to express their feelings that they have been hiding or something like that. Um, one more, well, one more card, please. Oh, here we go. Nine of Swords reversed. Somebody has some regrets, some extreme regrets, and I feel like they're giving deep thought to a relationship. Their gut is telling them that they need to make a move, and they need to make a move right now. I have a lot of anxiety here, too. We have somebody here that is very, very anxious. They're very fearful, and that's why they've been blocking themselves from opening up. That's why they've been so closed off. Very, very, very fearful. But I feel like this fearful person, whoever it is, is definitely ready for a change. Okay, with that temperance, this person is working on managing their feelings. Somebody's patience may have paid off as well. I think we have this wounded individual who has probably been waiting, been waiting for... You know, somebody can sweep them off their feet. Somebody is coming, okay, with that chariot card. This person, somebody is definitely arriving or they're making a move. But there's definitely a lot of fear. There is a lot of fear. This may catch you off guard. You may be caught off guard. You're going to receive a message. Put it that way. That, that page of swords is a message that is coming upright or reversed. So you are going to receive a message that probably makes you feel conflicted. You may be, you may feel like this isn't true. You may not trust this person. You know, when you receive the message, you may be, and it could be from anybody. I feel like it's somebody that you parted ways from, you separated from at one time. And this could be a friend, it could be a lover, it could be a family member, it could be anybody. But it's somebody that you probably were partners with at one time in some aspect of your life. And I feel like there was some sort of uh, rejection or departure. Um, but now it feels like there's been some sort of change or evolution. And somebody is about to master their emotions and face the opposition, right? They're about to face their fears. They replace their, their fears with faith, you know, and step out and step out into the light. You know, stop blocking their, their, their emotions and open up because of that two of swords reversed. I feel like there's there's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of uh somebody's been emotionally guarded, but and they've been this being emotionally guarded has caused them to delay and procrastinate. But now it's like they see the truth. They see the truth about something. You know, they see the truth. There's a lot of regrets here feeling guilty somebody may feel very very guilty or they feel they get some sort of notion or something like that that uh, clarity maybe maybe it's clarity they get some sort of uh well it must be desire or something something like that um to heal to heal something um Somebody may, may be asking for another chance or asking for forgiveness. This Nine of Swords reversed is a feeling of extremely overwhelmed, especially next to these two cards. We have somebody here that is very overwhelmed extremely overwhelmed and I think they're emotionally detached they're detached because that's a protection tactic somebody has been protecting themselves by choosing to be alone not getting in any kind of relationship because uh, maybe because they were cheated on in the past um, does look like there's a mistress here I mean the story could change all day long we do have somebody here that is going to be it feels like they're going to be taking a drive or taking a ride with somebody 
This is and maybe having a conversation that has been avoided. Somebody's been avoiding confrontation, but now they're ready to uh, deal with the confrontation in hopes that it will heal a connection. So I don't know who this reading is for. Uh, good luck.